it's back. Welcome to the happiest car in the world. This is the Microlino, and I truly believe that it is the perfect city car. Now, some of you may remember I first drove this car last year in Turin, where it's made, but I've since managed to blag a few days with one here in the UK, where it's launching later this year. And having now spent a full week living with the Lino in my home city of London, running daily errands, doing daily stuff, I can honestly say that the love affair has only further blossomed. I adore this car. I truly believe it is the best of all the electric micro cars that I've driven. Let me show you why. Important consideration for anyone considering buying a Microlino, prepare for a few questions. Everywhere you go in this car, people stop and stare and take photos and smile. And anytime you get out to run an errand, like buying a tasty crepe, you return to people climbing all over it. That's the price of being unique. But having to add a couple of minutes onto your journey time to converse with curious passers-by, it's a small price to pay because what you're doing in this car is you're adding a bit of joy into people's days. Everywhere you go, people stop and they stare and their faces light up. It's a striking reminder of how powerful good design can be. Even the most exotic supercars can't claim that they make people happy in the way that this thing does when it zooms past. And the driving experience is no different. It's a hoot to drive, it handles brilliantly. And it ain't no slouch either, surprisingly rapid. It's just a go-kart. And actually, any time that you lose chatting to Johnny Public as a Microlino owner, you're gonna more than make up for over the course of your journey because you just get places quicker in micro cars. Look at where I am right now. This is representative of city driving, super narrow little gates, really, really tiny little road with a row of gigantic SUVs parked alongside it. This, in a big full-size car, is bottom-clenching, anxious misery because there's not enough room. Well, in the Microlino, there's enough room. But honestly, for me, it's not really about minutes shaved off journey times. That's not the thing that I love about vehicles like this. It's how much calmer and happier I feel when I get there because my journey was so much less stressful, so much more fun. And to illustrate that point, here is cameraman Andy, who is basically the human embodiment of the grumpy cat meme, having his first drive in a Microlino. Hi, YouTube. Backwards. Oh, I've got the hammer on. I know you want to look, but just let me out. Yeah. Bunch of. I'm going for it. F it. Wait. <laughs> this thing is fun. This thing is very, very fun. Quick update on all things Microlino. You may remember when we first visited them last year, they hadn't even delivered a customer car yet. Well, to date, they've built and delivered over a thousand customers in Switzerland, Germany, and Belgium. And you'll be able to buy one of these in the UK by the end of this year. A unique advantage of building little micro cars like this is they don't even have to bother making a right-hand drive version. They're just gonna sell it like this with the steering wheel on the left here in the UK, because I mean, it's so small, it barely makes a difference. And having driven this left-hand drive-ish micro car all around London today, I can confirm, perfectly fine. I think the reason I love this micro car more than any other that I've driven, and I've driven a lot of them, is that it just doesn't feel like much of a compromise relative to a full-size car. I mean, sure, it's a bit hard going on speed bumps and it is a bit noisy in there and the driving position is a bit weird, but fundamentally, it's just a lovely little car. It doesn't feel like you're sat in a golf buggy death trap next to full-size vehicles when you're sharing the road with them. But more than that, it's desirable. It's so fun to drive. It's so fun to look at. It really feels like it was designed by people with a sense of humor, prioritizing making you smile as much as possible. 
And if micro cars are going to catch on in a big way, if we're going to really persuade people out of their XC90s and G-Wagons and Range Rovers into something smaller and more fit for purpose, they mustn't just be more practical. They have to be desirable. Please support our Stop Burning Stuff Patreon and help us to tackle misinformation about electric vehicles and clean energy. It is quite simply the happiest car in the world and I cannot wait to see these zooming around the UK in the coming months. I think they're going to be a hit and I think they're going to show people just how exciting micro cars are and can be.